Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the xmlrpc.php file. Now you may not have heard of this file, but what it's used for is, as it says in the WordPress codex here, it's used by other software to post to WordPress. So, for example, you can click on, or I'm going to click on this link to other weblog clients. And this is a list of software that can be used to post to WordPress via the xmlrpc.php file. So there's a bunch in the Windows category, there's a bunch in the Mac category, and there's a bunch in the Linux category. So what this means is that you can be typing, for example, on Windows, you can use Windows Live Writer to type your posts and then post them to your WordPress site without actually ever logging into WordPress. Now the only problem is that hackers also use this file to execute the brute force attacks on your website if the login.php file is restricted using either the limit login attempts plugin or if you have a login to even access the login page. If they can't get to that page to brute force your site, a lot of them will try the xmlrpc.php file. So if you are not using a third-party program to post your WordPress site, I highly recommend that you disable this file because it's not used for anything else. And it's really easy to disable. It just requires a couple lines of code that I'm going to show you in a second. And you just paste those into your htaccess file and it's disabled. So let's do that right now. I'm currently logged into my HostGator hosting account. And when I scroll down, I'm looking for the file manager. It's right here, and I click on that. I go to the document root option for the website that I want to secure. You can also do this via FTP if you're more comfortable with FTP. We find the HT access file. If you have not made a backup of, the backup of this file, I recommend you do so before you make these changes. And there's uh, I have a video to show you how to back up the file and you can find the link to that video below this video. To open the HD access file, just highlight it and then click on edit. And then this first part is in regards to WordPress permalinks. So we're going to go a few carriage returns below that and paste in this piece of code, which you can also find below this video. And all it is saying, it's telling Apache, which is a server software, that the file xmlrpc.php is denied access from everybody. So nobody can access that file. And so essentially, it, it can't be used. So once, that, once that's pasted in there, click on Save Changes. And now your site is safe from that avenue of attack that hackers often exploit. And just so you know a little more about this file, in the WordPress root, at the very bottom is where this file lives. So hackers will first try to brute force wp-login.php file. If they can't, they may then try the xmlrpc.php file, where there really is no security containment for that file, aside from manu manually disabling it. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.